If you're like me and you have ADHD and you keep getting multiple parking fines and speeding fines because it physically pains you to drive at 30 miles an hour on a motorway at three in the morning because cattle on a road. What on earth is going on in the House of Commons? Or you've crossed the dark for crossing over 20 times and your bank who you have auto pay with have just decided that you don't need that direct debit love. No, no, we've gone ahead and cancelled it. If you don't pay, it will go away. <coughs> or you've overstayed in a pay and display because you've lost track of time or lost your car keys. Or just decided to see how your car key worked and taken it apart. Then stay tuned because in my next few videos I will be telling you about how I pretty much succeeded nearly every time in getting off scot-free. And if this just doesn't happen to you then I'm jealous. So I'll start off with my most recent find, overstaying in a Tesco's car park. Two hours, six minutes and 40 seconds. This was on a Sunday morning where I'd arrived a bit too early for work because I very much struggled to calculate how long it will take to drive through central London. I got a letter through the post, they wanted me to pay £35 in the next 14 days or £70 in the next 28 days because only the first two hours to be parking are actually free. Wow. Right? Neither of these figures I actually wanted to pay. Oh, we got seven. As a law-abiding citizen, I had to see if this was something I actually had to take any notice of. Start with, I wanted the terms and conditions. I always want the terms and conditions. The letter was from Horizon Parkings, who are members of the BPA, British Parking Association. Yep, so apparently that's a thing. So I headed over to their website in hopes of finding some terms and conditions. After a bit of scrolling, I found them. Clause 13.3, where a parking location is one where a limited period of parking is permitted, or where drivers contracted to park for a defined period and pay for that service in advance, pay and display, this would be considered as a parking event and therefore a grace period of at least 10 minutes must be added to the end of a parking event before issuing a PCN. <laughs> Then it was simple. 24 hours later, I'd done an appeal and got this back. Dear appealing, thank you for your recent correspondence regarding the above parking charge notice, which we have reviewed. I can confirm the parking charge notice has now been cancelled and no further action will be taken in this matter. In addition to this, I can confirm your vehicle has been added onto our exemption list to prevent further parking charge notices from being issued. I don't know about you, but I had an absolute peach of a Sunday. 